I'm super excited about what is it, well, what I think is in this box. I'm pretty sure I know what it is. Oh yes. There they are. Some new shoes. If you're not familiar with what these are, this is the Noble shoes. These are literally my favorite training shoes ever. Like, they're just really good for what I like to do. Basically, like, they're really good for running, um, and then they're really good for, like, doing deadlifts and doing box jumps, and, like, they're just really good all-around shoes, and I absolutely love them. I already have two different pairs. I have my Argyle ones and then my black and gold ones, and I saw these, and I was like, those are so cool, and they're light, and they would go really well with, like, lighter colors, so I had to pick them up. I'm not at all sponsored by this company. I paid full price for these shoes. I just really, really like them. Yes. <laughs> All right, so today is the day that I will be doing my fourth ever CrossFit Open Workout, Workout 17.4. I wasn't planning on recording anything for this video until right now, but I just got way too excited about the shoes, which I'm still really excited about, so I had to show you guys me opening those. So today is the day 17.4. I don't think I could really be that much happier with a workout with the movements that are inside of it. If you're not familiar with what the workout is, it is 55 deadlifts at 225 pounds for men, and then it is 55 wall balls, and then 55 calories on the rower, and then the only thing that I <laughs> am probably not going to do that well in is 55 handstand push-ups, and you have 13 minutes to complete as many reps as you possibly can. If you're able to get through all of that, you just start at the deadlifts again. A couple thoughts that I have about the workout. So with the deadlifts, 225 pounds is really not that heavy for me, so I should be able to get through those. As long as I, you know, don't blow through them and completely kill myself, you know, I should be fresh enough to get to the wall balls and, you know, really try and push myself kind of hard. Uh, the only thing is I want to make sure that I do some mobility. Not too much. I won't need to do too much mobility for them, but you know, I want to make sure that I'm squatting below parallel. Definitely don't want to get no rep on the wall balls. And then going to the rower, rowing is literally like, that's my jam. That is the best thing I am. I'm the best at rowing compared to anything else in CrossFit. So I, I mean, I wish it was, <laughs> I kind of do wish it was more than 55 calories because of how good I am. Cause it would be able to, you know, let me separate myself a little bit more, but it is 55 calories. So, you know, I'll push myself on that. And then pretty much for me, this workout is going to end start and end really on the handstand pushups. Luckily I have worked on them. So I do have them. I can do handstand pushups. I'm, I'm not super comfortable with them, but I definitely can do, you know, a few sets. We'll see how I feel at the end of the workout. You know, how many I'm able to string together. I definitely don't want to go till failure. Like when you go to failure on handstand pushups, it just completely wrecks you. So I might have to do sets of two and three at the very beginning. But if I'm even, even able to get 10 handstand pushups, I think that would be a success for me because a month ago I wasn't even able to do one. Uh, so this workout, like I said, very, very excited about it. I, I, I just am really, really stoked that this is what the workout was and I can't wait to hit it. So there it is, 17.4, my fourth ever CrossFit Open. Let's go to the gym. All right, so this was unexpected, but I'm actually gonna be going in the next heat, which starts in about five minutes. So I don't have as much time to warm up as I would have wanted, but totally cool. I get to do it with a lot of people that I have not been able to do one of the open workouts with. So that's gonna be really awesome, but let's do this workout, let's see how it goes. Way before you came, I was hollow, hollow, hollow. I gotta do now is follow, follow, follow. Come on. Nice, come on. Big bull. You used to complicate, now I'm alright, alright. Simple 
15 was like my main goal, so considering I couldn't even do these a month ago. You don't need to wear your makeup up, no, no. No need to mess with God's design. Mike got, Mike got 36? 34, 36, something like that, I don't know. It's hard to think right now. That's, I'm gonna be like him soon. Yeah. Oh, deceivingly harder than you thought. I went like, on the first set of deadlifts, I just like, I didn't want to drop the bar, because I was like, oh, I don't want to have to pick it up again, so I did a set of 20, shouldn't have done that, but oh well, I just was feeling it, and then I, <laughs> uh, oh well, Whew. all right, now John's turn. Second goal. <laughs> it's like realistic goal and then dream goal. I thought I thought I for sure thought you were gonna. I know. I for sure thought you were gonna. Especially when you broke out those first five, I was like, oh gosh. Good. But it's so different, like when you get there, you're like, yep. what happened? Yeah. Yep. Like I'm normally good at these. Yeah. <laughs> good job, dude.
We are back home now, and not to reiterate things that I've already said in the video, but I'm just really, really happy with that performance. I really can't ask for anything more, considering I've only been doing CrossFit for about eight months, and about two or even less months ago, I wasn't even able to do one handstand push-up. So the fact that I was able to get 15 at the end of that workout, which was, you know, long already, makes me really, really happy. Obviously, there is a ton of different strategies for this workout, really depending on your strengths and weaknesses. For me, what I told myself was, I basically wanna get through this workout as fast as I can, and basically just have as much time for the handstand push-ups as possible, just so I can get as many reps as I possibly can. Now, if you're really good at handstand push-ups, you might not have to push as hard, because you know you can get through those, but you know everyone's different. For me, my plan was go as hard as I could, really, in the first part of the workout, so I had time to do the handstand handstand push-ups and I was able to do that. As always, I would love to hear your guys' score if you've done an RX or if you did it scaled or whatever division you were in. I would love to hear, you know, your times and your scores. That would be awesome, so leave that down in the description. Again, super stoked about this workout. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. There was one other thing that I wanted to say. Oh yeah, look how buff I am. Uh. <laughs>